What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars Mock Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at a modified LEGO Star Wars set from 2007 and how I was able to improve it to look more like the realistic universe version of this ship. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the build we're going to be taking a look at today is the 2007 General Grievous Starfighter. As you can see, the instruction manual has definitely served its purpose. It's definitely uh, an older model, but... This was one of my first Lego Star Wars sets as a child growing up. I got it for Christmas one year, and, you know, I was never a huge fan of it. I thought it looked kind of skinny, and it just it didn't really capture the look of the Soulless One, which is the name of this ship in universe. The wings just were too thin, so it ended up just becoming spare parts in my collection. But with the recent release of the 2020 General Grievous Starfighter, I really was inspired to dig out my old Lego sets and build it and even try to modify it to see how close I could really come to the in-universe design. I also really enjoyed the new version that they came out with and because it's so expensive I'm just not in a position where I feel like it's necessary for me to spend that much money on a set. So I was saying to myself if I could really improve the design of this model it might serve as a better piece in my collection than spending $80 on a new General Grievous Starfighter. After a couple weeks and three different iterations, here is what I finally came up with for my design. And I gotta say guys, I think it turned out pretty solid. This is the enhanced 2007 General Grievous Starfighter. Again, here's the original and here is my modified version. I still wanted to keep some of the features and appearance of the original model. For example, these smooth tiles that they used and these pieces here, which I think were important for the design at the time. I wanted to try to keep those um, and try to just add on them to see if I could get closer to the, uh, the ship in universe. But taking a look here at the actual model, you will see the first big noticeable difference for me at least are the guns on the front. I use these telescope pieces with the gold studs, and I think they look much better than the original hilts with those two uh, neon yellow studs. I just, I, I didn't like that, so I really feel like this is a much better look. Um, I also added some of these angled uh, black tiles at the front. Something that's interesting is this set went with black highlights on some of their engines and on the side paneling which I found rather odd because if you actually look at the ship, it's predominantly dark bluish gray. Um, but I decided to stick with it as I wanted to keep some of that feel from the original set. So taking a look quickly here at the side panel, the one thing you will notice is that it's wider and it's also uh, longer. So we added an extra plate on the front. I added some greebling along here. And then we extended it using um, a couple plates and some more angled pieces here. And something that took me a long time to figure out was how I was going to angle this up to the engine part. Because again, as you look at, if you look at the ship in universe, you will notice that it's more of a slant upwards instead of a sharp angle. And um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out uh, regarding that design. So. Taking a look here at the back, you can see how we have added the engine detailing and I have encased them with the black uh, slanted pieces there. And I think, again, they look pretty good, especially with those um, neon orange uh, highlights. I think they look good. And I added these grill pieces as well to add a little bit more sloping, uh, which you can also see from the side view. On the back, you will also notice uh, some smaller things. This used to be black right here. I changed it to dark bluish gray. I also changed this, uh, the engine piece, to a dark bluish gray as well. Um, as I said before, most of the ship is predominantly dark bluish gray, so that was uh, something that I wanted to change. One of the big things that I changed here was the length of the fin going to the back here. And this was something that was very inaccurate on the 2007 model. This fin piece came out to about here and the engine went out to about here. So there was a big difference, and what should have been the case is this fin should be a little bit longer than the actual engine, and as you can see, 
it is somewhat longer. It's not, you know, a whole lot longer, but it is longer. And um, I just did that using two of these extra slanted bricks on both sides and then just took the fin piece and extended it that way. And it works pretty well. But on the top, you can also see some of the other changes that I've made very small. But again, a lot of those dark bluish gray pieces have been added to improve the detailing and then some of the sloping as well. And overall, I just, I'm really, really happy with the way this thing turned out. So as for play features, um, the cannons no longer move. Unfortunately, they don't, they can't move up and down because of the plates uh, underneath here. That's not a huge issue because they're really not supposed to move in universe anyway. Um, the other thing is the cockpit still opens, but it doesn't open as far, mainly because of these studs here. And I feel like that's an easy fix, but I just, you know, I was happy enough with this because you can still take them out. And here's our 2007 John Grievous, by the way. Very uh, nostalgic figure there for you. And um, yeah, but otherwise the detailing is the same. Like I kept this and the studs there, the tan studs, I think that looked good. And then obviously for the main body, I also extended it there. So you can see there's a, a one by two brown plate and then a one by two tile tan um, on the back end there. I added those in to make it a little bit longer uh, and a bigger base overall. Flipping it over though, you can see again, I added more uh, structure to the wings as they were paper thin in the previous design. And I just wanted to improve that, beef it up a little bit, uh, a little more. And then if we take a look here at the back, you can see this ship in flight mode. You can see there how that looks from afar. And again, I think it just, it looks pretty good uh, from almost every angle. So the final verdict for me in this modification is that I will not be purchasing the new General Grievous Starfighter for $80. And I'm pretty happy with that. This has been a success. I was able to turn a set that I really wasn't all that thrilled to display in my collection with something now that I am really happy to have designed and also proud to have displayed on my shelf. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this set modification in the comments below. If any of you are interested in potential instructions or a tutorial for this build, definitely consider hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below because I could make a tutorial if enough people want it. Um, I would just have to obviously spend the time and gather the resources to make these things available. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something like that in the future. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. As always, I thank you for watching. And definitely consider subscribing if you like LEGO Star Wars content like this, as more is coming in the future. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in my next video.